Assalamualaikum. This is day 22 um, of our um, self isolation here in the UK. Um, I did a series of um, videos with no makeup on. I thought, no. <laughs> so today, all I've done is put lipstick on and same colour liner. I thought, why not use lip pencil as an eyeliner? Let's just see how it goes and how it pans and how it look. Actually, it's really bright, but anyway. So the topic of cons 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 conversation, I can't get that word out, but for God's sake, um, uh, it's going to evolve as we carry on today. So today's weather was absolutely gorgeous. It was um, around, I would say, 30, 31, and um, went to sleep really late, actually, 2.30 in the morning, and woke up about 7.30, um, and I got out, about, um, 11, got out of bed at 11.30, and my, my son, bless him, he learned how to make iced coffee frappuccino using TikTok. <gasps> Jesse brought that up in bed for me and it was beautiful absolutely and um it was so beautiful because he brought it he woke up and um we had a lovely cuddle in bed um it was something we used to always do until i went back to work and got really busy and stuff um it was just so nice just to lay down in bed with him and just to cuddle him and just you know um just actually taking the fact that he's now 11 years old he's not my baby and he was just talking about you know when I should sleep like that with him you know he was I was towering over him and he used to suck on my chin when he was two years old he's always playing with my elbow and today I'm like cuddling him and he's towering over me and I'm like you know cuddle up into his chest and it was just so beautiful and I, I cut my baby's hair as well today after god knows how many years I've actually cut somebody's hair and uh he looks proper handsome, I have to say, and washed up and everything. Obviously, he's crying for the whole process because he hates touching his hair, but it was just so long. And as you know, everything is shut, so he can't really go anywhere. And of course, you know, mum used to do this for a living. Well, not living, but, you know, used to do this all the time. You know, she's trained at this. I can do it, and, and I did. I did it with scissors first. And as kids, they love moaning and can't stay. They do everything for other people, but not your parents. As a teacher, you don't learn anything from me. It's so difficult to teach him, and when I to teach him in class, um, we should have sets, and he's got some mummy, you always tell me, because I'm not mummy, you know, I'm not mummy at all when I'm in school. And he always took things really, and he thought, obviously, I'm going to be like, you know, light handed with him, and, you know, obviously, you have high expectations as a young child. <laughs> um, so, yeah, he, he was just, you know, not happy, but when, when he had a shower and uh, dad did his hair for him, oh, I took pictures, he looked absolutely wonderful. He's going to be a handsome boy. Um, inshallah so beautiful day we went and sat out in the garden and uh, at the far end and i'm just reminiscing and thinking about my mum and dad and how they used to love sitting in my garden and you know sitting on the jeweler the swing my mum would sit there she would even fall asleep i used to go and get the lily for her put it on her and you know my sister and i used to sit with, with my mum on the swing and have our ice cream and she used to go god baby god baby there's a the ice cream on man there the ice cream man's there and she would just love her ice cream i haven't done any exercises today at all uh, my body's aching um, following my exercises yesterday and I think I'm just going to have a rest in between um, and I'm going to have an early um, dinner um, we're all going to have an early dinner because we, we don't we don't tend to have lunch which is really good actually and I think we're not grazing we're not you know eating for the sake of eating either and we we have a late oh if I was a diabetic I haven't been not good not good and um so we're not having we're not having breakfast until about eleven thirty. So it's not much really worth having lunches. So we just have like you know um, dinner about five six o'clock. I mean it's coming up to six o'clock. So in about ten minutes I'll go and put the salmon in and that be done in half an hour, less than half an hour. We'd be done and dusted. And we used to eat really late. Um, and I think that was the problem, you know, with the digestion and all that sort of stuff and putting on weight, being all bloated. Um, although we are putting on weight, um, not bloated. Um, so we got a, we got an email yesterday to say that um, you know I don't know when we're going to see the kids again. We've only got four children um, who are coming in, so we're all on a rotor basis. Obviously, some of us who can't go, we're not going in. And um, so yeah, so um, you know, to get all your data sorted out, get all your market papers, and upload your data. And then we've got another email to say they know why the children are fresh in your mind. You know, don't know if you want to see them again. Use this opportunity to start writing their reports. So it's actually quite sad in a sense that we're not going to see our kids. And I love my class. I'm like, you know, I've been ill so much that I haven't even seen them that much. But but, you know, not being able to say goodbye to them is also quite sad. Um, and it's quite, I don't know, weird at the same time. Going on to use um, Google Classroom. Um, I think it's something that they've um, paid into. And I think we're going to have some sort of online training. And then we're going to have virtual classes, uh, like teaching. Um, although I like the idea of it, it's weird. Because it's like being observed, isn't it? It's like, 
you know, you're going to be judged now by parents. You don't know who's watching you, who's going to judge you and how they're going to perceive you as a teacher. Uh, you know, when you're behind class doors, you always work really well and somebody walks in to observe you or learn and walk, you're completely different. And now it's going to be like parents and you know, it's going to be like a public out there who's going to watch you. Um, and it's going to be weird, but I think it's going to be quite nice. It'll be really nice to put on your CV and, you know, if you go for a job and stuff, they can actually, you can upload it or whatever and they can, you know, see you teach. Um, um, so yeah, let's just see what happens, you know, watch this space and everyone at the moment is going through such a huge change in their lives and, and whatever not. and every day you are hearing so many people, so many professions, uh, you know, the frontliners who are passing away, we've got nurses, we've got consultants, we've got doctors, we've got surgeons, we've got so many different, you know, like high spec scientists who um, obviously, you know, have passed away from from this disease and you know I've uploaded uh, a few uh, videos on my Instagram and yes I do have Instagram and anyways <laughs> and um, you know and, and the message there is like this is real this is actually happening and even though you know it I think when you see those live shots of people generally putting up on you know like youtube or whatever you think oh my god it is actually real it is real and you know it's real but it's real i mean i know quite a few people who are frontliners you know the parents of the children that i teach you know whether it was last year or this year um whose children um god knows what they're going to be going through each day waiting for the parents to come home or some of those parents could be infected maybe some of those people could have been the ones who passed away and we've got copious amount of professions who are passing away and it makes you quite worried actually that we can be left in a country or a society where we've lost all these learned people as a muslim we know that you know many many of scholars have passed away who spent years you know studying and teaching the quran and the sunnah and things like that and uh, you know they've passed and we've left with uh, a new wave of people who are not as learned and it's going to be one of those things again with our health professionals our scientists you know who spent all his life of discovery and, and all that experience and expertise and, and and we're losing them too which is good um oh my trees are in from bloom i'm going to get a load uh, hopefully i'm going to get a glut of um pears and it'll be good because at least if no one else eats them my parakeet will have them um i'm not sure about my um apples because my apples seem to be in the shade so i need to and the one thing about uprooting them and putting them it, it shocks the roots it will take another five years for it to re-establish and it's already been six years and i'm just finally getting really baby apples but again it'd be nice for the parakeet um yeah so oh it's just nice just having time to self